Hi guys, it's your Scorsman here, Ames, and we are coming back to, not coming back to, we are now starting, not Life is Strange True Colors, but we are going to start Life is Strange Wave Lengths. I think that's the name. It's basically Steph's story. Have you played Life is Strange Season 1? Well, yeah, I have. So, anyway, before I click yes, that is what we'll be starting. And just for those that don't know what it is, it's basically like a bonus episode. I think you had to buy it separately from the main game, unless you got the deluxe edition, which I got the deluxe edition. So I got it as soon as, as, soon as, as, soon as, <laughs> as, soon as it became available. And only now am I getting around to actually playing it. So let's waste no more time. It's been a while since I've played Life is Strange. Um, been mainly playing other games as you'll have seen on the channel but it's good to get back to it because I thoroughly enjoyed Life is Strange True Colors and it's nice to see this prequel story and we'll be playing the character of Steph which you'll have known through Life is Strange True Colors it's the it's the friend character to Alex who we romanced so anyway I'm gonna waste no more time and let's dive on in Okay, so we want to hit yes. Oh, okay. All right, so this will have some... Right, okay, so when it says season one of... Just turn that down. <laughs> season one of Life is Strange, it meant the first one. I thought it meant that we were going to get more seasons of True Colors, but I guess not. Anyway, so did you choose to save Arcadia Bay? I did. As much as I love the character of Chloe, she was a really good character. I'm like, you know, for the greater good, I'm not going to sacrifice an entire town of characters I've gotten to know and also care about just for this one character. I'm like, it just feels wrong. It's a hard choice, but one that needed, needed to be made, you know, it's, yeah, uh, really good game. So, I mean, it's still my favourite, but... True Colors is my second favorite. So did I choose to save Arcadia Bay? Yes, I did. And now we're starting. Because it asked me the same question when I, oh, sorry, I got an itchy back. It asked me the same question when I started playing um, Life is Strange Season 2. So, oh, Life is Strange Wave Links. Wave, I keep saying Wade, Wade or it sound, I think it sounds like I'm saying Wade. Wave, Wave Lengths. There we go. Okay. Ah, there she is, Steph. Oh. Okay. So is this just another regular day at work or is this our first day at work? Steph, uh, Gingrich? Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. Okay. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts, lots of live mixing for my band. The one thing you need to do to, when you're handing in a CV or doing oh, an interview, okay. is just- So you know your way around an audio booth. <laughs> BS your way. BS. Say you've done this and that. Oh, oh, oh. That'll be expensive. Be it. Just BS your yeah, way. Yeah, totally. And your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. I don't. I don't get that being overqualified. Being Gabe, right. I don't get being overqualified for a job. Well, look. Either. If you can handle it without much supervision, <laughs> the job's yours. Awesome. If you're good at a job, now part of your responsibility you should be able to get it. managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. It looks quite bare. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. I mean, again. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. We've just started. Can I ask why? We'll give it some character as we go on, I'm assuming. Sorry. Make it our own. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Mm. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... Oh.
you know, take some time to breathe. This seems like a place I can just enjoy being on my own. Yeah, you don't know. Well, I hope uh. we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. Oh, right. I think I'll love it. I mean, you don't want to pour your heart out to your potential boss or whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I, don't, okay. I don't get... The manager left me a task list for my first day. Right, okay. So that's probably around here somewhere. See, I don't get the whole being overqualified. Either you're good at, a, good at the job or you're not. I don't like... It, it, should it really matter if you're overqualified? It just means you'll be able to do the job. And if you mess up, then it's no excuse. I don't know. Uh, Bubblehead. Are you the Haven High mascot? <sighs> that looks like it. Uh, To-do list. Great. Here's the list. <laughs> You're on the list. Okay, so Steph, welcome to your first shift. Sorry I can't be there. Here are the basics. Introduce yourself. Okay. Use the computer to play the odd, uh, auto DJ. Read all the ads on air. Add a copy is on the desk. It's very unlikely, but some folk might call in. This probably goes without saying, but if someone calls, answer. Good luck, Beatrice. I wonder who this Beatrice is. I mean, I was obviously- Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. I mean, obviously, Beatrice is more than likely the manager. That's the phone. Sticky what? Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. Oh, sticky dino, so sh you could throw them against the wall. Right, I get I, 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 I got you. I got you. Turn on microphone. Right. Microphone, introduce yourself. What's up, kind haven listeners? Steph here. The new DJ. No DJ, no DJ. Your new DJ at KRCT, live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, maybe more in the future. We've got some great music coming up for you, so uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so next up, check out the playlist. I mean, it's no, it's, it's not exactly Three Dog, but Steph is a... Uh... Steph will do. Steph will do. Coming for you live on Washington Radio. Three dog. Oh! Was it Washington Radio? Oh, see, it's been so long since I've done Fallout 3. That's Maybe that's something to do in the future, but it's Fallout 3. I, it's been so long since I've played that, but I definitely remember Three Dog being my favourite DJ. <laughs> so anyway, Steph, you've got a lot to live up to in, uh, in my books. Uh, turn on. The camera seems jolty, like when I move it, it's like jittery. I don't know what that's about, but use. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. <laughs> what? Pretty sparse. <laughs> what a bunch of losers. Hey Mikey, where's your tunes? All I see is let it go. <laughs> oh, Mikey. Okay. It'll do, I guess. It'll do, it'll do. Hello. Oh, hello there. L Sorry, computer DJ. <laughs> it's my turn now. <laughs> look at me, look at me. I'm, in, I'm the captain now. Uh, play Paint Me Silver? No. Fall asleep? Home at Four Oaks? Talk I don't know any of these tunes, if they are actual tunes. Uh, I'll go off the cover. I like the look of this. Right, go for that. Okay. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Gingrich. Right. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Right, see how it goes? Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. Ads, there. That must be around here too. There we go. Um. Here's a new local business to get excited about. Avalanche Ice Cream in downtown Haven Springs. 
the variety of flavors they've got is going to blow your freaking mind. Experiments. You think I'm kidding? These guys have, and I hope you're sitting down, crab rangoon flavored ice cream. What? Just saying. Uh, yeah, so come mm. on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Uh, crab, I'm not too sure. Well, actually, I, I quite like crab. And no joke, it does actually ch taste a little bit like chicken. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, that one. Sunny and Angela Avalanche. Did I get that right? Explorers of the uncharted reaches of ice cream experience. I think I was right. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. How do we do that? Can we back away? Oh, leave. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. All right. A little bit of Tinder. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. What would you like to add to your tagline? Jokey? Jokey's good. Musician, gamer, cat lover. Oh, no. Uh, I'm impulsive traveler. Gay is a... Oh, gay, uh, no, it's like... Uh, it's like gay, you know, just straight up say what your preference is, but at the same time, disaster. Disaster could be a bit of a red flag. Um, Because then people will be like, it's like, well, what do you mean by disaster? Exactly. Uh, aspiring DJ. Mm. Oh, you know what we'll go for? I'm not a huge fan of cats, but we'll go for the first one. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. Okay. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? Games. And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. Fun? Okay. Oh yeah, dino, <laughs> dino kart racing, I remember that. Right, okay. Uh, is that all? Oh, can we swipe? Oh yeah, we can swipe. Right, okay. 41. M Mother of two. Melf. <laughs> um, oh, same age. The user hasn't entered a tagline yet. How mysterious. Fake account. Fake account. <laughs> um, Caitlin, 22. So two years younger than uh, Steph. Uh, you miss every shot you don't take. I've heard that before. Fair enough. Why not? Go for it. Oh, oh we got a match. You two like each other. Message or keep swiping. Oh, we'll drop it. We'll drop it. Yes, I should probably break the ice. Yeah, we'll drop a message. Uh, what do we say? Play cool. I'll go flirty. I mean, you're on the app for a reason. Hey, beautiful. How's it going? Oh, why'd you? That sounds a cringe. Oh, God. Okay, you're going to think I'm the world's biggest bitch. Depends. Proceed. Go on. Uh, why? Uh, I guess it depends on what you say next. So I swipe right. No! No! <laughs> Lol. Well, maybe we could still, you know, talk? Sigh? That, wait, that's hilarious. Please tell me how that happened. Sigh. Okay. I don't know. I keep checking my settings. It's supposed to show me dudes. Maybe I changed it without meaning to. All right. So she's not. Okay. So she's not gay. Uh, so why did you swipe? Uh, how often do you... How, how often? No. Yeah. So wait. Before you go, I just started using this app. As someone... Who's not into dudes, how often, stop it, how how often should I expect to see them in my feed? Honestly, couldn't tell you, all my friends use this app and none of them ever have this problem. I think the smolder people have a vendetta against me, almost certainly. This is a distant aroma of a vengeance plot. Thank you. Anyway, you seem really cool, sorry for the weirdness. Swipe carefully. Hey, maybe take a look at the profile pic and pronouns from now on, yeah? <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. There's probably work for me to do in the store as well. Let's go check it out.
right? What we got? I think there was a note for me on the front counter. Yeah, it's like this place is so bare compared to how she actually, you know, gives it life and colour in the actual main game. Right, ah, Cassie's note. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. Right. Dear Miss Grin uh, Gingrich, welcome to my store. Lord knows we need a fresh face. My name is Cassie Sobieski. And I'm an old bat in a nursing home in Colorado Springs. The record trade record traders is a very near to my heart. So anything you can do to improve the place, and I do mean anything, is greatly appreciated. Kind words, Cassie. Some ideas. Better decor, better music, fix vent cover in the back. Been falling off for years. Right, okay. Cool. So the vent cover. So if I read that right. Kasha's basically giving me carte blanche. I can work with that. All right. Just give it. I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. Yeah. As for music, I can at least start it by updating the new releases. Right. And the vent in the back? And. Yep. There's the vent. Might as well take a look. Well, it's rusty as shit. That's probably why it's been broken for, you know, for years. It needs, it just, it's, it's, it's rusty. Just get it fixed. Do something new. Oh, I thought that guy was holding like a set of balls until I realized it was a, a, a dinosaur's leg and stomach. He looks a bit like Palpatine with tattoos in his face, doesn't he? Just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit. Um, right. Let's, let's start with the, the vent. I want to do the vent. Yeah, let's move faster. Look. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Okay. Oh, it just needs some screws. It just needs some screws. Is there an animal oh, in there? Oh, no. Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned. That'll, that'll, that'll teach it. Shit. Oh. That's coming from inside the booth. Oh, the booth, right. Cool. My first call. Watch it be a prank call or something. Phone. There we go. Hello, caller. This is Three Dog. I mean, Hello? Steph. Hello? You're on KRCT radio and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Sort of. Hmm. Depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. Right. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio. Follow? Uh, no. I kind of get what you're meaning. Can I just give you my order and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. All right. Uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever right. by Kim Snyder. Yep, yeah, okay. Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls. Mm -hmm. Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster. Robbie Rooster. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Ah. Buy local, you know? That's nice. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on. Yeah, you lost me there. <sighs> He's not the brightest. All right, dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. How the hell would you know that? Are we doing hey, this? I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Are we doing this live on air? Whatever, lady. For everyone Screw to this. hear? Like Thanks for calling KRCT. 
Oh my god, Mikey. <laughs> hey, Mikey. Hey, 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 hey. Did you get that package I sent you? Hey, nothing yet. But I brought it with me to work. First day, wish me luck. It's on the counter. Okay. Right, so basically the guy was trying to phone up the actual record store to place an order. But instead he accidentally phoned the radio booth in which he would need to like you know where you like request songs you know i get what she was trying to say <laughs> anyway right so the bent uh let's go let's go put some posters up there we go choose what are the options hmm one of these might work some like hentai senpai posters. Nani? Women of power. Or what's oops? This better live up to the mystery. Oops. <laughs> oops, we destroyed the world. Oops, we did cool. it again. Okay. Ah, that's, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. I like, I like, I like. So, no senpai posters? Okay, cool. Uh, right, so the, the music selection? New releases, what we got? Update. If we don't have new releases, what do we have? No idea. Oh, 1990s. Uh, 1990s. Boy bands and girl groups. Nice. No biggie smalls or two packs? It's throwback time. I want it there. I know. Is it? I did it there. Wait, I forgot how that song goes. It's been a while. I want it that way. Tell me why. Right, so I've done that. Okay, I've done that. Do I have to look at the. Oh, stain. Oh, our raccoon friend, I assume. Clearly not toilet trained. Oh, I thought that was the owner. Never mind. <laughs> Shows what I know. Anyway. I don't even want to think about what that animal's done in there. Right, okay. So what is there left to actually do? Let's look at the note again. Feel like I'd get along with this woman. Read. Done that, done that. I have not actually... Can we go outside? No, we can't. I was going to say, could we... Let's go back in the booth. Enter. Right. What now? What now? Use. This is Haven's number one indie rock. Yeesh. Looks like I got here just in time. I may have no clue what I'm doing. But the good news is, Listeners per block. maybe no one is listening anyway. Oh, don't say that. Have faith. Listen. Oh, yeah. Such a banner. The sounds of silence. Okay, yeah, let's just not sit here because we can't hear shit. Uh, okay. Oh, ads. Read ad. Uh, put to work Colorado. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. Put to work Colorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 yeah. using their. Uh, yeah. Licensed experts. These people are like career Sherpas, helping you scale the mountain of your dreams. Sherpas? But Steph, you say. I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. Right. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. No, with that attitude, and motherfucker. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. Right, okay. Um, it has to be something else. Records? Um... Browse. 
I'll put another one on. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy tea upon the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack was the magic volleyball. Okay. Read as. Yeah, last ad. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors. The Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for... Oh. Historical decor? The historical decor. Where else can you feast under a used pickaxe and a literal bullet hole? <laughs> That's right. Nowhere. And then there's the food. Try the lanterns. Oh. Oh. Jalapeno challenge. There we go. Absurdly spicy jalapeno poppers. Only the strongest of stomach dare attempt to conquer Jed's signature app. Ah, oh yeah, Stop Jed. by the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. Cool. Um, what a, is there anything else we got? Let's look at our phone. Hello there. I think we'll swipe right. Are you the one that we are looking for? What, uh, well, it depends if I'm, a, if I'm a droid. Wanna get high and watch anime? Depends what anime. Uh, uh, sure. You're kidding. Sorry, there's no one in your area. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, you're humped. Um, okay then. Let's back out then. There has to be something else. Is there nothing else to do? So I read the ads. I've taken a phone call. Use the computer to play the auto DJ. I've done that. Right, let's back out. Maybe I can have a look at that vent again. Oh. Unicorn hunters. What the heck? Barking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Hey, cutie. We're excited to get to know you. Sorry, who's we? Me and... Brayden? One assumes Brayden is like your pet iguana. No, Brayden is my boyfriend. We're looking for a third. Do you... <laughs> uh, did you read a profile? I did, but... I, I didn't. I mean, I did, but I must have missed that part. Well, interested. Why are all the options no? You gotta have an open mind, Steph. Come on. They say there'll be a third wheel, but sometimes a third wheel can make you go faster. Whatever that means. The things to do, complete. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading different things here. I have done the tasks. Oh, open a package from Mikey. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I never really sat down with anyone. What's the appeal? It's fun. It's good to be able to make friends. Post some blah, 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 blah. That's actually sweet. Huh. You'll learn something new every day. Oh, that's sort of sweet, actually. Thank you. You want to try it sometime? Still no. Steph, come on. Come on, girl. Come on. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. All right. Let's find this package. Ah, there we go. Package. No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package. <laughs> well played, Mikey. Well played, Mikey. All right. Let's get it opened. Still trying to think what task I've not done. For the, the the DJ booth. All my old GM stuff. Holy shit! Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, ooh, some nice art. Right. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. Yeah. Oh my god, oh. this takes me back. Oh, there's a lot to read. So. This. Need a new oh, Elamon no. campaign. My old notebook had some ideas in it that might work. Choose campaign. The perfect city. Hmm. 
the perfect setting. Oh, something else in there. Ah, was that a 20 sided die? Is that what they're called? You know, because they've got 20 sides. A doy. Was that a condom? Oh no, is that? See, from the back it looks shiny, like it, it was. It would be really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was shiny in the back and I actually thought but that's what it was. Am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Oh. Fuck yeah, I am. Well, you made the choice for us. <laughs> Eventually, I'll need to get back Ooh. in the booth. Come on. It's as fast as you can go. Right, get, get that phone answered. Okay. Let's see if it's someone with an actual request. KRCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. Oh. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Oh no. What the shit? Let's go with that. Oh, sure. You know what? For the sake of filling some airtime, sure. I'm a psychic. I foretell shit. That's so cool. The guy seems quite Okay, so my cool best friend it. for basically my whole life, Tara, and <sighs> I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. All right. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? All right. Okay. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? Ooh, is it choice time? Choice time? What? Oh, no. A dice. All right. What am I going to tell this girl? Oof. A six is not great news. Is it not? So, what's my prediction? Go for the hot. Okay. <laughs> I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay. The good news is that you and Tara will definitely remain best friends. Yeah. The bad news is that it's her fault you end up dropping out of college. Ooh. Really? How? I don't know. Hiking. <laughs> Cult deprogramming. Without her best friend nearby, Tara's judgment begins to falter. She joins in with a friendly group of agro-utopian poppy farmers who are totally a cult. Damn it, Tara. <laughs> yep. So you, clearly vying for best friend of the century, quit school and move to Bumble County, Wyoming to infiltrate the group and set her free. In the end... He regained one safe and grateful best friend. But no diploma. I guess that's the cost of best friendship. All right. She actually believes that's that. That's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough. But I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Okay. Thanks, Steph. Wow. Oh, G Gabe. A lot of messages. Let's just read the recent ones. Oh, break a leg. Okay, so he's saying break a leg for the gig. Don't even mention it. Yo, you're doing great. Give me a call toward the end of your shift for the debrief. All right. So is that... Okay, so we've done the stuff that we need to do. So let's call Gabe. Call Gabe. Right, so first shift seems to be a success. Don't sit in the dashboard, please. Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, <laughs> this job you got me? It's great? Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously, and I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one? Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? I guess you the job. Uh, you know you're on the air, right? Yeah. yeah. What did I say? I said don't turn, uh, don't sit in the dashboard. Oh, 
avoid situations like these with puttoworkcolorado.com. Elevate your job prospects today. Smooth. Smooth. Rough first day, huh? Very smooth. Yep. Oh well, it could have gone a lot worse. We've all had a rough first day at work. Kind Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means oh. we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. Time's One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But, just in case, Ooh. here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. <laughs> it's me, answering your calls in just a few minutes. Cool, cool. All right, so some time has passed, right? And the place looks a bit more spruced up. But did we, but did we ever be. fix the vent? That's the What's question. It Talking. So I wonder if we're going to be spending all of our time in the in at Steph's work for this DLC. I'm curious. Fuck, it's hot. <laughs> Ah, cool. All right, the heat's no excuse. Right. Better take this call. Right. Okay. So we've got to die. Got the ads. The phone stopped ringing, so I think we've missed our call. Ah, it's starting to spruce up. The little bobble head still. You liking today's show? Still bobbling. Got our own stuff in the the uh, billboard. Yeah, starting to spruce up. Right. We'll answer this call in the next video. Good start. Good start. I'm, 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 I'm interested. I'm interested. Oh, earphones. I'm interested to see where this goes because so far we've only been in the, you know, the record store, the, the booth, and obviously the, the floor with all the seats. Bloody earphones, man. The, the floor with the, the, the CDs. So I'm wondering if that's all the DLC is going to be, which I'm, I'm fine with because you know, I like, I like kind of confined spaces, but yet a lot happens because it just feels more intimate. So yeah, and also it's not restricted to one specific time. It seems like we're going to be going over the course of like Steph's time from when she first started working at the recording studio or the, no, the, the record store to up until she meets Alex. And I'm down for that, a hundred percent down for it and I'm enjoying it. So anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the episode. So if you can like, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Catch.